Hey guys, it's Jessie V. Today's V Time story is about a party that went very, very wrong. Now, just to let you guys know, I am not a big party person. I would rather spend my night with a couple good friends than be in a crowded room with people. But that's just how I am. Everyone's very different. So, back in summer 2013, I was told that there was going to be a huge party at this guy's house. Like, big, like, massive party. And everyone was excited because this guy's parents weren't gonna be home. He had like a giant house. Everyone was just super, super excited. And I really wasn't that interested in going, but everyone was like, Jesse, please, please, Jesse, please go, please. So after all the peer pressure, I decided I would go. Don't give in to peer pressure, guys. Bad things happen. You may die. <laughs> no, you might. So the day of this guy's party finally arrives. And something I forgot to mention, yes, this guy has a big house, but he lives kind of in the middle of nowhere. You know what? I feel like a lot of my stories just take place in either a forest or like the middle of nowhere. I just go to sketchy places. So I drive to this guy's house and it was about a 45 minute drive. He, he lived in like a forest area, which once again, most of my stories take place in forests. Don't ask why. I don't know. I attract the leaves. Maybe I should be an elf, an elf queen. I will lead my people to Narnia. What? There are no elves in Narnia. What? What am I talking about? Anyway, can we just get back to the story? Because my, my Jesse V brain just went somewhere else. I don't know. So I get to the house and I walk up to the door, knock on it, which is usually what you do when you approach a door. So the guy opens the door and I am the first one there. Mind you, my friend was with me, but we were the only ones there. I was like, where are the other people? And he told us that they were coming a little later. And I was like, great. Now we got to find conversations with this guy and not make it awkward. So my my friend and I walk over to his couch and we sit down and the minute I sit down I hear this like hissing sound and I look beside me and there sitting on the cushion to my left was a cat and if you guys know me you know I don't like cats something about them I feel like they just don't like humans they pretend they do to get food so the guy sees that his cat is hissing at me and he goes yeah that's just Toby don't mind him well is he is he gonna bite me or scratch me because if that is the case I will move well, I mean, it is Toby's couch that you're sitting on. It is his own territory, you know. He gave his cat his own couch. This cat had its own large leather couch to itself. It was Toby's couch. So I was like, I'm just gonna get up because I do not want Toby to hurt me, okay? If Jesse V gets into a fight with a cat, the cat will win. So thankfully, about an hour later of pure awkwardness, the doorbell rings and in comes five guys with, I kid you not, bongo drums. Why? Did they have bongo drums with them? Who friggin' knows? So they all come in and they sit in a circle and invite me to join them. So for the next half an hour, we were all sitting in a circle as they played bongo drums. It, it was a tribal gathering. We were feeling the spirits of the music. I felt the drums inside my heart. I had never cared so much about bongo drums until this very moment. And I asked the guy why they were doing this. And he says, yeah, me and the guys usually play with the bongo drums before parties. It's like a little ritual before uh, people come over. It sort of bless the house, you know, to keep the spirits high. It just keeps the vibes flowing, keeps people happy, you know? Right. <laughs> right. How I'm so stupid. How did I not know that? So shortly after that, the doorbell rings again, and there's a few girls, a few guys that come in. And so finally, there's about 20 people in the house. We're still expecting more, but for now, it's a good number. Everything's kind of going well, aside from the bongo drum ritual. But it was now over, so everything was okay. So a bunch of us are getting hungry so the guy who's hosting the party was like you know what guys you know what I'm gonna make you guys some pizza I make the best pizza in the town people come from far and wide to try my pizza I make it with care I make it with love I take my time to make this pizza the best pizza in the world and then he takes out a frozen pizza and puts it in the oven about 20 minutes go by and we're smelling smoke and the damn smoke alarm goes off so we all take cloths and we're like fanning the smoke alarm so it would go back off so let's just summarize what's been going on so far. We've got Toby the cat who has claimed its rightful place on his own couch. We've got stinky guys playing bongo drums in a circle. And we've got the smoke alarm going off with burnt pizza 
and horrid fumes in the house. We finally get the smoke alarm off and some people start putting on the music and the party is kind of starting now. So I go up to the guy who's hosting the party and I ask him where I'm going to be sleeping for the night because everyone who's coming to the party is sleeping over because his house is so far from where we live. And because no drinking and driving y'all. So I asked this guy to show me where my room is going to be. I wanted to see where I'd be placing my body for the nighttime hours. So he brought me downstairs and he was like, you get to have my brother Mike's room. Mike is 13, he's a little messy, so don't mind. And he walks me in this room and guys, guys, there was so much laundry on the floor that I basically had to swim through it to get to the bed. And when I say laundry, I don't mean clean laundry. I mean dirty, year old laundry. There was used boxers on the bed that smelled like butt. They smelled like fresh butt, fresh off the bum. It could be like a pizza thing. Here's your pizza, fresh off the bum. I don't even know like where I come up with these things. Like, <coughs> bless me. The sheets on the bed smelled like a dirty gym bag. You could literally kill someone with the smell of those sheets. Just take the sheet right up to their face, make them smell it, they'll die. They'll just die. There was food stains on the mattress and the window in his room could not close. So there was a cold breeze coming through, mosquitoes wandering in. The mosquitoes literally had their own bedroom. I was like, are you sure there's nowhere else I can sleep? No. I mean, unless you want to sleep on the floor, that's pretty much it. So I was like, I can make this work. I'll just sleep in the bed and the next morning I'll shower for three hours. It's fine. So I leave my stuff in the room, go back upstairs, music is loud, people are dancing, and then this guy walks in with a Spider-Man costume on. The full thing. And I walk up to him and I'm like, nice Spider-Man costume. Yeah, thanks. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, I can see that. Love the costume. It's not a costume. I'm, I'm actually Spider-Man. Okay, how many drinks have you had again? So everything is going decently. I mean, there were some issues, as you can tell, but nothing that would, like, make me want to leave. And then these five girls walk into the party wearing pretty much nothing. I mean, a small leaf would have covered them more than what they were wearing. And I'm not one to judge, you know what I mean? You can wear what you want. You're your own person, your own body. But if you're at the point where I almost have to cover my eyes when you walk by, you may, maybe, maybe, want to just rethink what you're wearing. Anyway, so they walk in and they instantly start chugging vodka like it's juice. I was like, slow down there, guys. Slow slow it down. And they were all like, who do you think you are? I'll drink as much as I want to. Oh my goodness. But because of all this vodka drinking, half an hour later, they all wanted to go skinny dipping. Now, if they were sober, would they have wanted to do this? No. At least I don't think so. I mean, maybe they would. So in this guy's backyard, he has like a swamp. It definitely wasn't a pond because the water was green and there was visible mush in the water. Not somewhere where I would want to take my body, per se, but these girls were all for it. So there they are, running into this swamp, no care in the world, and I'm not even kidding you. They came out of that water looking like female Shreks. They had the whole ogre style going on. They came out of that swamp smelling like a camel's butt. So guys, do not go swimming in a swamp unless you want to smell like a camel's butt. I mean, it's that easy, okay? Just remember this. Anyway, so I'm sitting on the porch, and I am getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Like, I have long sleeves on, long pants, but the mosquitoes are just eating through my clothes. I remember going to bed that night and I counted about 53 mosquito bites. So I walk back in the house because I'm like, I am not going to be a feast for these mosquitoes any longer. Dinner is over, guys. So as I walk inside, I see some damage. Not gonna lie, there was some damage. Two lamps were broken. Toby the cat was eating the bongo drums. Some dude had put silly string on everything, including inside the toaster. Good luck getting that out. And the bath was over overflowing into the TV room. So I went to the guy who was hosting the party and I was like, look dude, I think we should start cleaning this up because in the morning it's gonna be a disaster. And he was like, no, 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 just let it happen. Let it happen, let it happen. Like, if this was my house, everybody would be out. So just when I thought nothing could get worse, a girl who had pretty much drank an entire bottle of vodka decided she wanted to go swimming. And yes, she meant in the swamp. I don't get why there was so much popularity with this swamp. It was like every girl just wanted to go into it. But anyway, this girl was so intoxicated that 
she could barely even make it to the swamp. All I know was that she was yelling, I want to swim with turtles. I want to swim with turtles. It's like, yeah, we all want to swim with turtles. Will you find them in a swamp? Probably not. Anyway, she jumps into the water and she doesn't come up for a few seconds. And I'm like, this might not be good. So three guys had to jump into the swamp to save her. They had to like lift her out. She was like fighting them. She's like, no, I want to swim. And like, they literally had to place her into a trampoline. You know how like on a trampoline, sometimes there's that like fence thing around it so you don't fall off? Yeah, they placed her in there so that she would stop fighting them for a second. And then they waited until she was calm and they let her out. Yeah, they basically used the trampoline as a timeout station. You've been bad? Go to the trampoline. I mean, if I was a kid and I did something bad and my mom put me in a trampoline, I'd be in heaven. That's like the best timeout ever. Anyways, we go back inside to see that two parents had arrived and these parents were livid because the music was blasting, things were broken in the house, there was water everywhere from the bathtub, there was girls walking around who smelled like camel butt. It just, it wasn't a good scene. And basically the parents said that if we didn't all go home, they would call the cops. So in a way it was good the parents arrived because it got everyone to leave, but at the same time, it kind of sucked that it had to get to that point, you know? Needless to say, I have never been to another big party. I just like smaller get-togethers, and there are a few morals to the story. Always be safe at parties, guys. Drink responsibly. Being drunk is not fun. I mean, who wants to be sick? Who wants to do stupid things that you regret the next day? Always keep your best interest in mind. Skinny dipping in front of a bunch of people? Not smart. You never know if they'll have their phone out to take pictures of you. Just have respect for your body. Just be responsible because you only live once. YOLO. I hate that saying. YOLO. Remember when it was big like a couple years ago? Everyone said YOLO. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this V time. My Twitter, my Instagram, and my Snapchat is in the description, so follow. If you haven't yet seen my V time t-shirts, the link is in the description, so feel free to check it out. Like I said before, if you purchase a V time shirt or a mug or a cell phone case, when you get it in the mail, take a picture of yourself with the item that you bought, tag me in the Twitter picture, or Instagram picture, and I will be posting a couple of these photos at the end of my videos just as a thank you for buying the merchandise. It really means so much to me. So until next time, guys, bye. Bye.